The cadets are meeting with Irish people who are working in the space industry all over the world, proving that you don't have to be an astronaut to do some really cool things in space. Connor went to the European Space Agency in the Netherlands to meet Irish scientist Laura Hayes, who has worked on some really cool projects here. And one of her latest ones is the Solar Orbiter, which is traveling close to the sun and sending back some amazing pictures. This is our recent mission that was launched in 2020. So look at the sun up close, uh, which is super exciting. So this is a one to 10 scale model, so it'll be 10 times bigger. So it's, it's not absolutely massive, but it, it's, and you can see the solar panels take up most of that yeah. space. It's a lab in the sky that we can, you know, try to understand our own sun in the concept of all the other stars. And it's also this big hot plasma lab that we can do, yeah. kind of understand some cool physics. So how about we go see some of the other stuff that goes on here at ESA? Oh, yeah, sure, that sounds good. Connor got to see lots of what's going on here at the European Space Agency and was pretty impressed that the type of scanner you might see in a hospital is also pretty useful for testing things that go into space. Uh, so this is the CT scanner here at ESA, but unlike the ones you'd see in hospitals where you use them on people, you actually end up using them on the different parts of satellites that would end up going into space to see if they have any problems that we can't see just by looking at them. So all in all, it's extremely important here. And this is another machine that tests out different parts of a spacecraft before they go to space. What the scientists do, they put in, say, a lens, and they actually put contamination or dirt onto it, and then heat it up and see what actually happens to that dirt. Does that dirt shoot away, or does it stay on? You really need to test all the different parts of a spacecraft before you put it into yeah. space. But what about the material that the spacecraft is actually wrapped in? So what the engineers and scientists do here is they actually simulate what it would be like uh, if, it's, if a different material was actually at those altitudes in, in space. This little circle in the middle is, is the region where the atomic oxygen was kind of pushed onto the material. So obviously these samples in particular were impacted. You don't want your material to change when it goes to space. Are there any materials that would be susceptible to the oxygen and the upper atmosphere? Yeah, it's a great question. So some materials would be something like carbon or silver. So those materials are particularly susceptible. 